Hey everybody, it's your boy, it's Boot, Port Misery Gaming, see no Alice. So we've got uh, one more banner before uh, Grand Kahlo and the re-collab. Um, I don't, I don't know why, I mean I get it because you gotta cycle banners, but I, you should probably skip this one. Minstrels have kind of an interest in this one if the weapon fits you and the sork book in this one's actually pretty good although i don't know if i would like chase it or anything it, it might be just worth meddling uh okay so we've got the kaguya crusher or <laughs> no we don't it's kaguya minstrel so uh remember that that's how that goes so he uh, we have uh sitting here playing her biwa doing all her stuff Stats are exactly how you would imagine. There are 100 for each regular and then a whole crap ton of HP once you get the Arcana. Um, later on, effectiveness goes up and there's a little bit more magical attack. Um, but nothing really too crazy. It's a cool outfit. It's a cool model. We have the Biwa of Suffering. Um, this is where we're going to notice the power creep is kind of back to normal. So it is a roar weapon. It's Warrior's Elegy 4. So it's you get one ally by a massive amount physical attack, that, which is where it kind of is either mediocre or most people will kind of pass it up because we already have a physical attack heat wave essentially, and this one's good, but there's not really a physical attack meta right now. Um, so having it, I guess, is better than not having it, but I, I don't know. It really depends on your guild. So it's 1.5 effect when you're at disadvantage and it has weapon repair 1 on it. So the Kalo Aid skill is mediocre, but the rest of it's decent. Um, stats are normal, 5100 at 80, 6600 at 120. Um, I don't think you should be rushing to MLB this one with the collab coming out. And you're going to hear me say that a lot just because I that's what I think. Uh, we've got the Scythe of the Anti-Conqueror. These are all the Japanese names. The regular English names are on the website, but they don't have them updated yet, so I'm not bothering. Um, 5100 at 80, 6600. These are all, I believe these are all cost 18 weapons, too. Uh, so it's got Life Leech on it, 1.5 targets. It's got great amount of damage, Mental Focus 2, so you can moderately increase your own magical attack. So this isn't a bad pull arm, but I don't know if it's worth pulling over... Um, the ones in the and the one in the collab. Even if the one in the collab gets nerfed, the stats on it are significantly higher, and it comes with a class. So maybe metal this one later if another better one doesn't come out. Um, we've got the Rousing Hammer. Uh, it's one point five targets, decrease physical and magic attack of the opponent by a small. So whoever you're hitting, it's got replenish magic two, which reduces SP consumption. Same stat block as the other ones. This one gets an LL eventually, though. Um, but it's 5100 at 80, uh, 6600 at 120. It's fine. I Like, Crushers can skip this pretty easily, especially because you have a collab Crusher coming out. Uh, Book of the Lingering Soul. This one is kind of interesting. So it's 1.5 mag defense, um, and it is a great amount. So it's a tier 3, essentially. Um, and it has Replenish Magic 2 on it, and it does eventually get an LL. That's, that's it. I think we have a... Uh, I believe we have a bird on this one, too? Let me check real quick. I think we get the one weirdo bird. The busy bird, if memory serves. There it is. Okay, let me pull this over. Alright, where are you? Flippy bird, because it's not Flappy bird. So, uh, this dude's actually worth looking at so he's uh essentially it's like no one except the stats are slightly better uh i'll actually do a comparison all right compare now oh do i hit both okay yeah, no oh, oh there we go so well i guess actually oh it's because i'm i'm an idiot i'm comparing the the SR, not the L. So, um, Flippy Bird beats out knowing on stats just a little bit. Uh, we're talking 40 points, 43 points ish. It's got a little bit more physical defense. It's got a little bit more magic attack. It's got less magic defense and physical attack. Um, 
I don't think anybody needs to chase the nightmare on it, but that does mean there are five items on rate up for this banner, so... I, uh... It's okay. I don't... Like, I don't think anybody should really be going too deep on this banner, specifically just because the collab's around the corner. And we will have, at some point, the year collab, which is pretty good, so... I don't know, guys. Like, you can, you can disagree or agree or do whatever you need to. I'm not pulling on this one. I'm still saving, so... Um, there should be an event to come up with this one so we can get some more gems because we really got to start stockpiling those. Um, and that is it. Don't forget, on the 15th, which is Thursday, uh, so it'll be right before the recollab comes out, we do have a live stream coming out for Pokelabo, so make sure to tune in and check that out. They've, uh, they've got some cool stuff planned for everybody. But that's it for me. You guys have a good night, and uh, good luck.